Here we have a 2006 Renault Clio Expression in silver. If we just start with the offside front panel here. As you can see, you've got quite a bit of a scuff there. And again, just alongside it near the uh, headlight. And look at the offside front tyre now. As you can see, not a great deal amount of tread. There is about 3mm, just below 3mm of tread, so this tyre will probably need changing soon. Looking at the hub cap, as you can see it's quite badly scuffed. And again, on this side you can see there's quite a bit of damage there. But no cracks or any serious damage. Have a look at the off side of the car. I've had a good look, I can see any signs of any dents or dings at all in the bodywork. You got a few scratches on the driver's side, just above the door handle. You can just about see them. Again, nothing serious. And again, a few light scratches on the uh, just behind the driver's door here, as you can see. But again, they are very light. And again, just a few little scratches here and there. And um, I think a bit of lacquer has actually come off here, just above the offside rear arch. As you can see, have a look at the offside rear tyre. There's a lot more tread than the uh, front tyre. There's about 6mm of tread depth here. Have a look at the uh, hub cap itself. Just focus in there. There you go. You can see it again, it's quite badly curbed, but no serious damage at all, no cracks. Moving around to the back of the car, yeah, I've got a few little light scuffs here and there. No serious damage though, no dents or dings at all. You've just got a few scuff marks, very light scuff marks on the paintwork and some scratches just there and quite a few little uh, chips and uh, bubbles in the boot lip. As you can see from the video, does appear to be quite scratched, but again, no serious damage. We've got uh, quite a bubble there with a bit of a scratch in the paintwork, as you can see. Moving around to the near side of the car, have a look at the near side tyre again. There's about six mil of tread, possibly a little bit more. And look at the hub cap. Got a few light scratches there. And again around the other side, a few light curbs. Other than that, the whisk wheel looks really nice. I'm looking down the near side of the car, it will be quite hard to see because of the light. But again, no dents or dings at all. You've got a few light scratches here and there, as you can see. You've got quite a few light scratches on the uh, passenger door, just below the handle. And that's probably the most serious thing. Just got a light scratch just above the door handle, so it would require a few touchings here and there. Have a look at the near side front tyre again, just the same as the offside front tyre. Will definitely need changing. This one's very, as you can see, there's barely any tread there whatsoever, so this tyre would need changing. Looking at the uh, hub cap again, as you can see we've got quite a few curb marks on this hub cap. And again, around the other side. But no serious damage at all, so nothing to worry about there. Got a few light scratches just above the uh, arch there. Moving around to the front of the car, you have got a few light uh, stone chips around the front of the vehicle. As you can see, but cosmetically, there's no damage at all to the uh, front of the vehicle. Just a few stone chips here and there. Sorry, just missed this. As you can see, quite a good scuff on the offside front bumper here. Moving to the inside of the vehicle, it does come with a silver 
silvery beige sort of uh, cloth interior. Got to admit, looks really well. There's a few light stains here and there. There's no rips or tears at all. I've a look in the back. As you can see, really nice looking interior. And it does come with the dual sunroof in this car. As you can see, it lets a lot of light into the car. I'll just show you the mileage now. No problem starting the car. As you can see, 41,897. I'll look at the controls here. You've got your AC, your heating, everything functions as it should. Your radio works. Car is in manual transmission, as you can see. We have a quick look at the documents now. We've got a copy of the V5 here. Three owners previously. And uh, look at the MOT certificate. MOT does end on January the 17th, 2014. So you wouldn't have to worry about the MOT. And the car does come with partial service history. The first one there is 7,000. And then the last one was at 24,000. So it is in need of a service. Just double check that. Yeah, the last one there at 24,000. And a quick look in the back again, as you can see, nothing to complain about. The interior looks really nice in this car. There we have it, that is the Renault Clio Expression. Overall, really nice car.